All right, Hannah, thanks for the awesome demonstration. One, how you bomb it out there. One, uh, not so much. Uh, left screen versus right, left arm parallel. We can see only 18 degrees of hip turn in the left hand screen. And because you really aren't turning your hips very much, it makes it very difficult to turn your shoulders. Now comparing that to the right hand side, we see 31 degrees of hip turn and now 80 degrees of shoulder turn. We've measured a whole bunch of different tour players. Uh, we see most of them are right around 77 degrees of shoulder turn at this point. So you're slightly more than that. When we take a look at most amateur golfers, they look a lot more like this image in the left. Now, part of the reason for that, what makes the hip turn easier for you, is how you're changing your knee flex. We can see your trail knee, so the right knee in the uh, right hand screen here, basically has no flex left. Started off with a little bit, you've lost all that flex where the right hand side, you still have 16 degrees. So uh, quite a bit of difference between the mm -hmm. two. So let's uh, get out here on the map, talk about how the viewers at home can take away some of the things from your swing to hopefully hit a little bit farther, all right? So I want you to just set up with your driver like you normally would, and we'll, uh, we'll demonstrate the bad one first. So on the bad swing of the left-hand screen, we saw Hannah's knees basically stayed in the exact flex that they were in her backswing. Now, whenever your knees maintain all their flex, it just makes it really difficult to turn your hips. When your hips don't turn very much, it makes it difficult to turn your shoulders. Do one more bad one. Great. Now, if you struggle with this, what you need to do is try to add a little bit of flex to your right leg and don't be afraid to lose some of that flex from your right leg. So on this next one, Hannah, let's uh, change your knee flex as much as you can and feel like you point your belt buckle at that back camera. So this would be like the biggest backswing you can make. Awesome. And you can see when she does that, it allows her to make a much longer backswing and really just sets the stage for swinging faster and hitting some longer drives. If this is something that you struggle with, take away some of these points, I guarantee you'll help you out.